10 similarities between China and Iran you may not know. From the Persian Empire in the Western Asia to the East Asian civilization, there are numerous resemblances that can be found between China and Iran. Even in our modern times, you can still draw upon several similarities between today's China and Iran. Chinese blue and white porcelain versus Iran porcelain crockery. Throughout hundreds of centuries, Chinese and Iranians both behind some of the world's most beautiful porcelain creations. These porcelain products were largely exchanged between the two nations. In fact, in some areas of Iran such as Nishapur and Nri, ancient porcelain pieces have been dug up, which experts claim were made in China's Yue kilns. Persian carpets and Chinese silk cloth Traditional Iranian families lead a very simple and relaxed lifestyle, tending to the farming tasks during the day and the weaving carpets in the evenings. A trip to Iran is simply not complete without taking time to explore the nation's enchanting carpet stores. However, it is very likely that many tourists are believers to the fact that silk carpets were most produced from the materials imported from China. Iranian pancake versus Chinese steamed bun. Chinese cuisine alters greatly from region to region. The northern Chinese people tend to consume more noodles, whereas their southern counterparts would rather rice during meal times. In Iran, however, the most common staple of the national cuisine is the pancake. In fact, Iranians commonly joke the two cheapest commodities for their country are petrol and pancakes. Bazaar versus farm produce fair. The word bazaar originates from the Iranian language and is now commonly used in other languages to describe markets. The six largest bazaars in the world are all based in Iran, representing a very important aspect in the national culture and the lifestyle. In China, marketplaces can also be found throughout the country. Many feature vegetables and fruits. At these venues, customers can handle prices and pick up their daily necessities. Imam Square versus Tiananmen Square. Isfahan resembles half of the world, goes a famous Iranian proverb. The scene expresses the great significance of the Imam Square in Isfahan. Famous for its characteristic hustle and bustle, this vast square is seen as a world of its own. It is reputed as the world's second largest square, whereas Tiananmen Square in Beijing remains the world's largest. Alavadin Khan Bridge vs. Broken Bridge of all the beautiful bridge scenes in China, the broken bridge on the West Lake is definitely the most popular amongst tourists. In Isfahan, Iran, there is the Alavadin Khan Bridge, a popular site for tourists to flock to. It is cited as one of the most famous examples of a Safavid bridge design. Abbas Kerastami was a Ho Xiaoxian. In past decades, Iranian filmmakers have become well-known throughout various international film festivals for their using poetic dialogue and captivating storytelling to discuss political and philosophical issues. The Iranian director Abbas Karastami is a leading figure of this film genre, and his work has also influenced other Chinese directors, such as Hou Xiaoxian, who won the Best Director Award at the 2015 Cannes Film Festival. One-Child Policy vs. Family Planning Program Iran had a program of family planning since the beginning of the 1990s, which states that each family can have no more than three children. However, the policy did spark off controversy, especially amongst religious people. In late July 2012, Supreme Leader Ali Khomeini describes Iran's contraceptive services as wrong and slashed the birth control programs. In 2015, China also officially announced that all married couples will be entitled to all have two children and scrapped its one-child policy which had been implemented in 1979. Petroleum vs. High-Speed Rail China obtains 10% of its imported petroleum from Iran, and the Chinese companies not only export cell phones, automobiles, etc. to Iran, but also have ambitiously participated in the nation's Tehran Qom Isfahan high speed railway construction. Asian Silk Road vs. One by One Road The Chinese Silk Road pioneer Zhang Qian, who visited the vast neighboring countries of the Han Dynasty in 126 BCE, made the first known Chinese report on the Parthian, which located in the northeast part of Iran today. Both empires have benefited from trade along the Silk Road. Lifting economic sanctions against Iran is indeed good news for China, as a sanction-free Iran is open to more cooperation opportunities with other economies. Trade exchanges between those old Silk Road countries are about to thrive. <laughs>